welcome back to Fukuoka. This is my last day here and today Michaela is going to take me around to her favorite spots of the city which I'm really stoked for because you've lived here for how long? Uh, like over 10 years now. Yeah, so yeah. she's a pro and she knows <laughs> what the best things to see are. So that's what we're going to share with you guys today. But if you missed our video last week, do go check it out. We went on an awesome JTB taxi tour of the northern part of Kyushu Island. Go back and check it out if you missed it. But let's go on a tour of Fukuoka City. We're going to start with Fukuoka Tower! Hi, arigatou gozaimasu. Hey. So the tickets to go up to the tower are 800 yen each, about $8. Let's go. Like I have to come back to Spokane in the summer to appreciate the best parts of it. I really the beach think, looks yeah, so nice. You would love it. Over on this corner of the tower, they've patterned it like a galaxy. They light it up with a black light at nighttime, so it looks like you're standing in the stars. They have Oikuji Pit Ball. In order to get your fortune, you put it on 100 yen and then fire the ball, and then just by chance, like you get your fortune. That's so cool. You ready? I'm ready. Oh. Where'd you go? Oh, there it is. Oh. Oh. We're all three. <laughs> Future luck. One out of five. <laughs> Oh no. It looks like you won't find a good match very soon. <laughs> Meanwhile, oh, you can use the time, time to improve yourself. yourself. Ouch. This is like the most impressive. It's like a big slap on the face. It's difficult Wish. to succeed when it's not within your ability. <laughs> I'm just gonna put this one back and pretend this didn't happen. <laughs> the most condescending Obikuji I've ever seen. <laughs> you can purchase a love lock from the vending machine and then write your names on it. That looks really cute. That was fun. All right, where are we off to next? So now we're gonna take a little drive out to Itoshima where we have to show you the, oh. the shrine out in Itoshima because everybody goes there. I've been looking forward to this because I've seen it all over. <laughs> I take everyone the past, there. like 10 years, so. Yeah. <laughs> It's really nice. It it's is a really nice, nice little though. beach. I can see why it's gotten popular. It's really cool. In the summer, it's really nice here too, and you have people swimming all along the beach. I can't get over how warm it is, you guys. I'm just wearing this really nice. t-shirt. <laughs> Even though it's cloudy today too, it's really warm. Right? We're right on the water. Okay, Look what I found. Oh, it's empty. I've always wanted a metal detector. <laughs> I bet you would find a lot of cool stuff. I've only ever found like starfish and like the sea urchin. Uh, that you found. I had never seen a sea urchin before. That was, that was cool. really cool, yeah. Apparently there's a spot uh, near my place in Morioka where you can find fossils from like- What? Yeah, thousands of years ago. That's so cool. So I'm gonna go there and dig stuff up. I will it's like in the you. side of a cliff. That would be so cool. I would love that. So they've got a burger car here. A burger truck and he's got picnic tables and hammocks. What? <laughs> he so, set up hammocks. Yeah, in the summer this is like a fun Oh, this is so too. cool. It's very relaxing. You bring a book. And oh, that's amazing. Oh, wow. wow. That's so nice. Yeah, so like, uh, oh, you can get like an emo. Mulled wine. Oh, that's like hot wine. Sweet potato. Oh, they've got Zenzai yeah, too. Zenzai. What? It's a really interesting menu. Uh, Lots of traditional Japanese stuff, but yeah. then they also have like bubble tea. So I'm gonna get a zenzai. It's like a sweet bean soup with mochi in it. And a yaki imo. Sweet potato. I think I'll get the uh, tea. That looks really nice. Yeah. We've got my Zenzai, Michaela's got her hot wine. And, and then we've got a nice view of the ocean yeah. and the sun's come out so we get the beautiful blue. It has! So lucky. Oh, I can't wait to eat this. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. That is truly. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. It's been really good. I love this place. Glad we stopped here. Mm -hmm. We came at the best time. There's so many people here now taking pictures of the shrine. 
I told you. There's lots of little cafes and restaurants along the ocean here, but Michaela's gonna take me to one of her favorite spots. There's tons of options out here, but my favorite place is just a little bit further away. A little bit further down the coast, yeah. right? Cool. So this is it. This is Sunflower. What a cute little cafe. It's like a little beach <gasps> cottage. The terrace is so nice. I really want to sit outside, but it's pretty windy. What should we do? Okay. We'll see if they have any good seats inside, and if not. Okay. Good job. Thank you. We have so much. <gasps> Look at it. So cute. Oh my god, I love it. So what's your favorite thing to order here? I usually get the pizza. The pizza, the yeah. salad pizza. Yeah, and then like that I've I seen also, on your Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always get this. <laughs> okay, I'll and get then, that. I don't know if you saw, but they have a dessert cabinet, <gasps> and uh, if you get a dessert set, you can choose for, two sweets for three bucks. That's yeah, cool. You can go choose five. <laughs> if you want five, then you pay don't seven hundred. Don't to me. The mountains. Yeah. You can see like Fukuoka City is right down there. In the right between the two. Oh yeah. yeah you can I see like the building. But even right now, the weather is amazing. Great time to enjoy the beach. It's no be out here. No no too, like. Like. But I love that it is just like a salad amazing. piled on top of pizza. Like you like can eat a pizza without feeling guilty because yeah, the crust is so thin and it's just tons of veggies. Michaela got the spaghetti bolognese. Yeah, it's got it Itoshima so eggplant nice. and then topped with some local vegetables. Mmm. Oh, the crust is so nice. It's really soft, right? Yeah. Mm. How's your pasta? Really good. Mm. They, uh, they cook the noodles kind of like, what is it, al dente? Mm. So it's a little bit chewy and hard. I like that. But it's got like really, yeah, good consistency. That was the most filling salad pizza I've ever had in my entire life. You didn't even know if you were gonna like make it through. Oh my God, I just made it. I left the tomatoes, I'm sorry. But <laughs> okay. um, I finished the rest. It was delicious. I highly recommend that. I can see why you order that every time you come here. Yeah, yeah, it is one of my favorites. If you guys can rent a car for the day and go to that amazing beach spot that we visited and come to this cafe, that is like the perfect way to spend a nice sunny day. All right, last stop of the day, let's go. Okay, we're at our final destination for the day and I'm pretty excited because honestly this place feels like Disneyland, especially the background music. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's so it cheerful. It just died as soon as you mentioned it. <laughs> there it is. It feels like we're like in a theme park. It's really nice. And can you see how beautiful it is? So this is Canal City. Yeah. Is this Foka's like biggest shopping center, would you say? Oh, it's not its biggest, but it is the most interesting architecture-wise. It's got this really it's cool gorgeous. stage dome. So yeah. we have like live music in the center stage sometimes. And then people can watch on different floors. In a second here, there's going to be a fountain show every 30 minutes. Wow. These are the biggest dango I've ever seen. Can you guys see how big they are? They're like the size of my hand. Wow, those look so yummy. There's so many unique shops here. This shop is all cat themed. Coco, they have that extra eye. This looks like Maro. It looks so fluffy. There are too many things to choose from. I like it all. But I feel like I have to get something because how often do you come across a store with so many cool original cat goods? I love these. They're like tattoo style cats. I think I've decided on these little soy sauce dishes. I'm gonna get two of those. How cute is this? That's a great store. Stop by if you're in Canal City. The lady was really nice. 
All right, that concludes our day in Fukuoka. Thank you so much for the awesome tour. Oh my god, I, I hope so you guys fun. enjoyed it as much as I did. We got so lucky with the weather and it was just such a chill, relaxing day. And there's so much fun stuff to see here. If you are someone who's visiting Japan for a short amount of time and you buy the JR Pass, it's really easy to make a day trip down here from Osaka. It's only two hours. Yeah. So if you're already planning on traveling from Tokyo to Osaka with the JR Pass, just do come down extra here. step down to Fukuoka. It's such a different vibe it's than you would find in either different. of those two cities. Yeah. So I highly, highly recommend it. People think that like Kyushu's out of the way, but it isn't at all. No, it's so, quite easy to get here. Yeah. I will link Michaela down below, so definitely go check out her channel. She makes lots of great videos from around the Fukuoka area here. And I will see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.